Jake Turner here. I'm out talking to experts who know a thing or two about crop protection and what agronomic best practices look like in the field. It's sure to be a valuable conversation. Got a minute? Today, I'm outside Rossi, Minnesota to talk with Allison Pukshavinsky, lead technical agronomy expert for sunflowers and sunflower product manager for New Seed North America about addressing weed resistance in sunflowers. Allison, thanks so much for meeting with us. Thanks, Jake. Can you tell us about New Seed and what production systems you offer for sunflower growers? Sure, so at New Seed, we have three core crops that we focus on, sunflowers, canola, and sorghum. And we have breeding stations all across the world. So we have breeding in Australia, Europe, South America, and right here in the United States. So with all the sunflower growers you work with, what new weeds have they been telling you about? There's some new ones that are kind of coming on on the forefront, uh, one of them being water hemp. So water hemp has been in North Dakota uh, since the mid-90s, so it's been here for a long time, but mainly concentrated in the eastern part of the state. But it's, it's really starting to show up in pockets moving further uh, west in North Dakota and South Dakota. And then the bad word, uh, Palmer amaranth as well, was found in North Dakota in 2018. South Dakota, it's been there since 2014, and it was actually first found in a sunflower field. Given the timing with sunflowers, having an effective pre-program with multiple modes of action and residual effect is important. It's extremely important. In fact, when I think of uh, you know, the top things in my mind that are important for a sunflower grower, that is hands down one of them, is to have a good, solid pre-program. What advice would you give sunflower growers that are beginning their weed management program? The number one piece of advice I can give is to have a good pre-program. There are some post-emergent post -emergent herbicide options, such as Express and Clearfield, but really you want to have that good pre-program in place so you aren't combating the weeds in season. And then the other piece of advice is to make sure that you have a good burn down program as well, whether that's spraying in the fall or in the spring, depending upon when your sunflower planting date is. Now, FMC has a broad spectrum of products to assist sunflower growers. Have you had any experience with those products and what would you like to share? I've been using FMC products since 2006 on sunflowers and they have a huge portfolio available for sunflower growers. So on the post-emergent side of things, they have Express, that sunflower growers can go in post-emergent. And then on the pre-side, they have a huge wealth of products. So you have your straight Spartan, your Spartan Charge, which is Spartan and AIM. And that's really fantastic at getting the small button kochia that, uh, that's in the field early season. And then they came out with Spartan Elite, which is Spartan and Dual. And then lastly, the latest and greatest is Authority Supreme. So there you have your Spartan and your Zidua product. So both with Spartan Elite and Authority Supreme, you have Group 14 and Group 15. And then they also have some fantastic insecticide products that work really great on sunflowers, Mustang Max, uh, Prevathon as well. You mentioned Authority Supreme. Can you tell us what's unique about its combination of chemistry and mode of action? Absolutely. So Authority Supreme is simply a combination of Spartan and pyroxysulfone, or otherwise known as Anthem or Zidua. So you have your group 14 and your group 15 in combination. So you're able to go out there with a pre, uh, knowing that you have the best product on the market in sunflowers to combat water hemp and Palmer amaranth. What final words of advice would you give to sunflower growers, both to maximize their production and also to manage resistance? Number one, have a good, clean sunflower field. You don't want your sunflowers competing with weeds. The second thing is don't be afraid to plant early. Sunflowers can actually handle uh, soils that are 50 degrees. And then the third thing is if you're able to, and, it, and if it, it works well in your area, to desiccate. So that way you can get your sunflowers off, get it in the bin, you don't have to worry about some of these uh, strong wind and rainstorm events that we get. Well, thanks for helping us out, Allison. We really appreciate yes, it. Yes, thanks a lot, Jake. Allison told us about a number of ways that sunflower growers can manage tough weeds like kochia, water hemp, and palmer amaranth. 
with options to help address resistance issues. For more information about how the FMC Sunflower Portfolio can help, talk with your FMC retailer. That's all for this episode. Until next time, I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.